Stop. Don't skip. Because there is some serious talk happening behind the scenes, and it's all about you. Specifically, regarding your eyes. Two people are deep in conversation, and trust me, it's not your typical small talk and guess what it's all about? There's an intriguing aura surrounding you. They can't look at you because of your eyes. That's sparking conversations. Stick around because it's time to uncover the secrets swirling in the air. And you're in for a captivating journey filled with unexpected twists, turns, and a touch of mystery that will keep you guessing from beginning to end. The tongue may hide the truth, but the eyes never, says the Father. Is this true about you? Today, God has a message concerning your eyes, an upcoming challenge that awaits you. Before moving forward, affirm your belief in God by commenting yes. Keep in mind, our existence is influenced by what we receive, but the true meaning of life lies in what we give. A humble $40 contribution can offer sustenance for a child for several days. Are you ready? A cosmic message has reached you. Two individuals engaged in conversation are fervently praising the allure of your eyes, finding themselves increasingly drawn to you. They are captivated by the radiance of your character, eagerly seeking to unravel the mystery behind your compelling presence. Your outstanding qualities, such as a resolute mindset, ambitious demeanor, and innate leadership abilities set you apart from the crowd. Moreover, your eyes amplify the charm that surrounds you. It's not merely your physical appearance that captures their attention. Rather, it's your unwavering and purposeful attitude that leaves a lasting impression. Your unique approach to pushing boundaries suggests that with dedication, anything is achievable. Your demeanor serves as a beacon of inspiration for those around you. Your steadfast commitment to excellence, coupled with an optimistic outlook, positions you as a guiding force of motivation. The allure you radiate is not accidental. It reflects your inner confidence and conviction. You possess inherent leadership qualities, and others are drawn to seek your guidance and encouragement. The universe is bestowing its brilliance upon you offering blessings and avenues to success in every facet of life. Your captivating eyes effortlessly open doors and attract favorable circumstances to you. By maintaining confidence and determination, you align yourself with the universe, paving the way for achievement and fulfillment. Your irresistible charm and captivating eyes naturally draw those who are fascinated by your achievements, your vibrant zest for life, and your ability to overcome any obstacle you encounter. The universe urges you to acknowledge your strengths and embrace your individuality. Instead of concealing your innate leadership qualities and ambitious spirit, let them shine and inspire those around you. Your talent for leading by example and surmounting challenges has the potential to uplift others. As the cosmos continues to bestow its brilliance upon you, Remain true to yourself and steadfast in your pursuits. The captivating allure of your eyes lies in their capacity to awaken dormant emotions in others. Your gaze effortlessly delves into the deepest recesses of their hearts, unlocking a flood of admiration and adoration. The connection formed through the intertwining of gazes transcends conventional understanding, paving the way for a profound and enduring bond. God is indicating that the intensity of their emotions becomes overwhelming. Each stolen glance acts as an intoxicating elixir, fueling their feelings for you and leaving them yearning for more. Their emotions are heightened in your presence, deepening the connection and igniting a flame that grows with each interaction. God is bringing to your attention that this unique enchantment is a testament to the power your eyes hold over the hearts of others. It's important to recognize that this special allure serves as a catalyst for genuine connections and profound relationships. God is communicating to you that their emotions are overflowing, and they are ready to express their love and commitment to you. Their actions are aimed at bringing you joy and making you feel truly cherished. God wants you to understand that when someone's feelings reach such a pinnacle, it signifies the depth and intensity of their love. 
This profound love has the power to transform and reshape your life, leading you on a path of growth and fulfillment. God is offering you the chance to embark on a deep and meaningful connection that transcends the ordinary. The universe is guiding you to embrace your inner strength and seize the opportunities that lie before you. Attracting positivity in favorable circumstances doesn't require perfection. Rather, it involves embracing your uniqueness and staying true to your core values. When you exude confidence in yourself and your abilities, the cosmos responds by unveiling new paths and opportunities for success. The radiant energy of the universe acts as a beacon of light, illuminating your immense potential and impact. Embrace the allure of your appearance, reflecting the extraordinary individual that you are. Let your optimistic energy shine forth, attracting the abundance that life has in store for you. As you continue to grow and evolve, the universe stands by your side, offering guidance and support every step of the way. Your journey toward greatness is unfolding, and the universe is paving the path for you to reach it. Trust in the journey ahead and have faith in your abilities as the universe aligns to shower you with its radiance and blessings. Life is a continuous journey of learning, growth, and self-improvement, and the universe is there to support you along the way. Recognize your dedication and perseverance, knowing that the universe stands beside you, offering steadfast support and encouragement throughout your journey. Within the vast expanse of the cosmos, Celestial messengers convey a profound message tailored specifically for you. At the heart of this ethereal communication lies the theme of wealth and abundance. The angels are filled with anticipation as they share whispers of an impending plan to bestow upon you blessings of prosperity. You, dear soul, are intricately woven into the tapestry of financial abundance as divine forces collaborate to uplift your material well-being. The cosmic alignments are in your favor, heralding a period of abundance that transcends your current understanding. Feel the electric atmosphere surrounding you, resonating with cosmic vibrations that announce the imminent arrival of prosperity. Celestial beings orchestrate a symphony of riches that will echo through every fiber of your being. In the boundless expanse of the universe, celestial messengers convey a profound message directly to you. At the core of this ethereal discourse lies the theme of prosperity and abundance. The angels are brimming with anticipation as they share murmurs of an imminent plan to shower you with blessings of wealth. You, cherished soul, are intricately woven into the fabric of financial abundance as divine forces collaborate to enhance your material prosperity. The cosmic alignments are in your favor, indicating a period of abundance beyond your current comprehension. Sense the charged atmosphere enveloping you, resonating with cosmic vibrations heralding your forthcoming prosperity. Celestial beings are orchestrating a symphony of riches that will reverberate through the very essence of your being. The spotlight isn't on your physical presence, but rather on the energy you emanate into the universe, the essence of your soul lingering in the divine realm. The angels are deeply engaged in conversations regarding how your energy, your essence, leaves a profound imprint on the cosmos. Your actions, thoughts, and intentions collectively form an energetic signature that celestial forces perceive akin to a fragrant trail wafting through the spiritual realm. The angels meticulously observe the nuances of this ethereal essence, enriching the cosmic dialogue while also cautioning you about its potential implications. While they commend the positive vibrations you emit, there's a subtle warning about the importance of discernment. It seems that someone in the celestial realms may not be interpreting your energy with pure intentions. There's a presence seeking to influence the narrative of your energetic essence. As the angels convey this aspect of the message, it's crucial to understand that it's not a cause for fear, but a call for heightened awareness. Your energy is a precious asset in the cosmic dance, and the angels urge you to safeguard it with conscious intent. Be mindful of the energies you allow into your space, 
as they can mold the essence of your soul in ways you may not fully comprehend. Envision this cosmic dialogue as a direct transmission to your soul. The angels are speaking to you directly, unveiling the mysteries of the unseen realms with a message that transcends time and space. Can you sense the resonance of their words reverberating through your being? As you internalize this celestial discourse, let the realization sink in. You are not traversing this journey alone. Your guardian angels, celestial companions who watch over you with utmost care, are intricately intertwined with your life's tapestry. They guide you towards prosperity while offering subtle cautions to safeguard your energetic essence. Take a moment to pause and breathe in the cosmic essence, allowing the vibrations of this celestial exchange to resonate deep within. This connection is sacred, bridging the earthly and celestial realms, a divine dialogue between you and your guardian angels. It transcends mere communication, serving as a cosmic transmission crafted to heighten your consciousness and steer you towards alignment with the divine path. As you navigate through the ebbs of abundance and the currents of caution, recognize your role as a co-creator in this cosmic symphony. Your thoughts, actions, and intentions shape the unfolding narrative of your journey. Welcome the forthcoming blessings with gratitude and move forward with mindfulness, knowing that your celestial companions walk alongside you every step of the way. You are cherished by the universe, an integral part of the cosmic family and your presence brings joy to the celestial orchestration of existence. If these words have resonated with you, feel free to share your reflections below. This sacred space welcomes all seekers of wisdom and solace, offering a haven where cosmic melodies of support and encouragement echo throughout. Today, be open to the imminent arrival of significant blessings, a testament to your unwavering faith and steadfast commitment. Your journey's culmination approaches, heralding a divine plan poised to unfold in every aspect of your life. Embrace this transformation with readiness, for the universe conspires in your favor, aligning all elements to shower you with abundant blessings and profound growth. Anticipate unexpected blessings and an overflow of love and abundance in all areas. Jesus assures, I have opened a door for you that no one can shut, and nothing can thwart the divine plan set in motion for your life. Today, your Heavenly Father seeks to weave a narrative illustrating how your eyes possess a mystical allure, captivating others and drawing them deeply into your essence, within the tapestry of your life's journey. In the ancient land of Canaan, there dwelled a man named Jacob whose eyes held a captivating allure that drew people near. Jacob was renowned for his penetrating gaze, imbued with a wisdom and kindness that enchanted those around him. His captivating eyes did not escape the notice of a prosperous merchant named Laban, who proposed a marriage between Jacob and his daughter Rachel. Rachel, both beautiful and gentle-hearted, captured Jacob's heart instantly upon their meeting. Laban agreed to the union, but on the condition that Jacob labor for him for seven years as a bride price. Despite the arduous task, Jacob diligently fulfilled his commitment, fueled by his love for Rachel. However, upon the appointed day, Laban deceived Jacob by substituting Rachel's elder sister, Leah, in her place. Despite the heartbreak of the deception, Jacob's love for Rachel remained unwavering. Laban offered Rachel's hand in marriage as well, contingent upon another seven years of service. Without hesitation, Jacob accepted the terms, laboring faithfully to finally wed his beloved Rachel. Throughout their shared journey, Jacob's devotion to Rachel remained steadfast, their love deepening with each passing moment. Despite the trials they faced, their bond endured a testament to the enduring power of love and commitment. The biblical tale of Jacob and Rachel underscores the enduring power of true love, emphasizing the importance of perseverance through challenges. Today, God reveals that your gaze holds a captivating allure for someone, drawing them deeper into affection and enchantment with each glance. 
Your eyes possess a magnetic charm that evokes profound emotions, making it difficult for them to resist falling more deeply in love with you. Remember that beauty is subjective, and true radiance stems from self-love, compassion, and inner confidence. Embrace your authentic energy, knowing that it naturally attracts others and fosters genuine connections. It's crucial to recognize that others' opinions of your appearance are shaped by their own beliefs and experiences. Instead of internalizing negativity, approach it with compassion and turn to your guardian angels for love and guidance. Your worth is defined by your own self-perception, not others' opinions. Embrace your uniqueness and let your inner beauty shine through acts of love and kindness. Surround yourself with supportive individuals and engage in self-care practices to nurture both your physical and inner well-being. Seek guidance if negative comments impact your self-esteem. Trust in God's abundant goodness and celebrate His blessings in your life with gratitude and joy. Imagine you're walking through a dense fog where your vision is limited and every step is an act of trust. This is much like our walk with God, a journey through the unknown relying solely on his guidance and not our limited perception. Today, I will share with you profound insights into walking by faith and not by sight or emotions. I am also going to pray a powerful prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus, so watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. My friends in this world, we are often tempted to rely on what we can see and feel. Yet, let us embrace the wisdom of Hebrews 11 verse 1 which declares, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. This profound truth anchors us in the midst of life's ever-changing tides. It calls us to place our trust in God's plan, even when it stretches beyond our understanding or visible horizon. Let us walk in faith, irrespective of the shifting sands of our circumstances and feelings. As we journey together, we will explore seven key insights that will help us navigate this path of faith. These insights will deepen our trust in the Lord and guide us in aligning our steps with His divine will. Number one, walking by faith, not your emotions. Life often presents us with a roller coaster of emotions, and you know what? But our emotions can be misleading, taking us on a path that deviates from God's plan. The story of Elijah in 1 Kings 19 offers a powerful lesson on this. After a significant victory at Mount Carmel, Elijah plunged into despair and fear due to Jezebel's threats. Despite having just witnessed God's mighty power, his emotions in that moment overshadowed his faith. This reminds us that even the strongest among us can falter if we lean too heavily on our emotional responses. My friends, in moments of emotional turmoil, let us hold on to the truth found in Psalm 56 verse 3, which says, Whenever I'm afraid, I will trust in you. This scripture not only addresses our fears, but also our broader emotional responses. It teaches us that our faith should not be swayed by the ever-changing tides of our emotions. Instead, we are called to place our trust in decisions in the steadfast love of God, not in the temporary whispers of our feelings. Walking by faith and not by emotions requires us to cultivate a deep sense of discernment and reliance on the Holy Spirit. It means that in moments of fear, anxiety, or even overwhelming joy, we pause and align these feelings with God's Word. It's about understanding that emotions are part of our human experience, but they should not be the compass that guides our decisions or our belief in God's promises. Therefore, as we navigate the challenges of life, let us seek wisdom and guidance from the Holy Spirit. Let us train ourselves to recognize when our emotions are leading us astray and stand in faith. Listen to the leading of the Holy Spirit and turn to prayer and scripture for truth in moments when our emotions threaten to overwhelm our faith. Let us remember Elijah and learn to rise above our immediate feelings, trusting in God's eternal plan and unfailing love. My friends, let us strive to walk by faith grounded in the truth of God's word, rather than being swayed by the fleeting and often deceptive nature of our emotions. In doing so, we find stability and clarity anchored in the love and wisdom of our Heavenly Father. Number two, trusting in God's timing over our own. The concept of time often perplexes us. 
We live in a world that revolves around schedules, deadlines, and immediate gratification. This fast-paced life can sometimes make the virtue of patience seem like a forgotten relic. Yet, in the realm of faith, time takes on a different dimension. As we ponder on the story of Noah, we see a man who operated not on conventional time, but on God's time. Building an ark with no cloud in the sky, Noah's faith was not rooted in what he could see or understand. It was anchored in the promises of God. In this context, Isaiah 55 verse 8 echoes profoundly, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. This verse isn't just about God's higher thinking, but also about His perfect timing. Noah's steadfast obedience to a task that appeared illogical on the surface teaches us an invaluable lesson about the true nature of unwavering faith. Our journey is often marred by our impatience and our lack of trust in God's timing. We want things to happen now, forgetting that God's timeline is always perfect, even when it seems delayed by our standards. Trusting in God's timing means embracing a season of waiting. It involves understanding that our immediate desires may not align with God's ultimate plan for us. This waiting is not passive, it's an active, faithful anticipation. It's about preparing our hearts, nurturing our faith, and staying committed to God's course, even when the horizon seems distant. Noah's faithfulness during his season of waiting, building an ark amidst doubt and ridicule, is a testament to the strength that comes from trusting in God's timing. Therefore, as we navigate through our lives, let us seek to embody Noah's unwavering faith. When faced with decisions, big or small, let us pause and consider God's timing. This perspective shift is not about inaction. It's about aligning our actions with God's divine schedule. In moments of impatience and uncertainty, let us recall Noah's Ark, a symbol of trust and obedience in God's perfect timing. God guiding us to a deeper understanding of faith. Number three, surrendering personal ambitions to divine will. At times, our personal ambitions and dreams seem to chart our course. Yet, God's plan calls us to a different path. The story of Jonah vividly illustrates this struggle. Jonah was called to go to Nineveh, a task he initially ran from because it conflicted with his personal desires and prejudices. His journey, including the extraordinary experience inside the belly of a great fish, symbolizes the internal conflict we face when our plans clash with God's. As we reflect on Jonah's story, we are reminded of Proverbs 19 verse 21. There are many plans in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the Lord's counsel that will stand. This verse teaches us about the supremacy of God's will over our own ambitions. Jonah's eventual decision to obey God despite his initial reluctance demonstrates the importance of surrendering our plans to God, trusting that his plans are not only different but better. Surrendering to God's will often mean stepping outside our comfort zones and confronting our deepest fears and prejudices. For Jonah, going to Nineveh was not just about a physical journey, but also a spiritual transformation. This act of surrender is not a sign of weakness, but of profound strength and faith, acknowledging that our personal ambitions must align with God's higher purpose. Therefore, in our lives, when we find our ambitions clashing with God's calm, let us remember Jonah's journey. It's a call to introspection and realignment, a reminder that our ultimate purpose is found not in the pursuit of our ambitions, but in aligning them with God's divine plan. Surrendering doesn't mean giving up on our dreams. It means reshaping them to fit into the grand narrative God has written for us. Number four, overcoming doubts with God's assurance. Doubts are a natural part of our faith journey. They challenge our beliefs and can lead to spiritual growth if navigated wisely. The story of Thomas, often labeled as Doubting Thomas, offers a unique perspective on this. After the resurrection of Jesus, Thomas struggled with doubt, unable to believe without seeing Jesus with his own eyes. His story is a reflection of our own moments of doubt, where we see tangible proof of God's presence and plan. In these moments, Jesus' words to Thomas resonate deeply, as recorded in John 20, verse 29, where he said, Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. This verse is not just a rebuke of doubt, but an invitation to a deeper faith, 
a faith that believes in God's plan even when it's not visibly evident. Thomas's eventual declaration of faith upon seeing Jesus reminds us that our doubts, when surrendered to God, can lead to a stronger conviction in his plan for us. Overcoming doubt requires an intentional cultivation of faith and trust in God. It involves seeking him through his word, prayer, and the fellowship of believers. Thomas's story teaches us that it's okay to have questions or uncertainties, but we should not let them distance us from God. Instead, we should bring them to him, allowing his truth to guide and reassure us. As we face our doubts, let's be encouraged by Thomas's journey from skepticism to faith. Let us embrace our doubts not as hindrances, but as stepping stones to a deeper understanding and trust in God's plan. In our quest for answers, let us remain open to the ways God reveals His will and purpose for our lives. Number 5. Embracing Transformation Through God's Guidance Personal transformation is often a key aspect of aligning with God's plan. The transformation of Saul to Paul is one of the most striking examples of this. Saul, initially a persecutor of Christians, experienced a radical transformation on the road to Damascus. This was not just a change of heart, but a complete redirection of his life's purpose. Guided by God's hand, Paul's transformation, as he later became known, was marked by a total surrender to God's will. As he states in Galatians 2 verse 20, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. This profound declaration highlights the essence of embracing God's plan. It's about letting go of our old selves and allowing God to reshape our identity and purpose according to His divine will. Embracing transformation through God's guidance requires humility and a willingness to let go of our former ways. For Paul, this meant abandoning his previous beliefs and practices to fully embrace the teachings of Christ. This kind of transformation can be challenging as it often requires us to step into unfamiliar territory and adopt new ways of thinking and living. Therefore, as we seek to align with God's plan, let us be open to the transformative work He wants to do in us. Like Paul, let us be willing to undergo the changes that come with following Christ. This transformation is not a loss of self, but a discovery of our true identity and purpose in God. It's a journey from who we are to who God intends us to be. Number 6. Persevering in Faith Despite Challenges The journey of faith is often marked by challenges and trials. These moments test our perseverance and commitment to God's plan. The story of the prophet Hosea is a profound example of unwavering faith amidst adversity. Hosea was called to marry an unfaithful woman, Gomer, as a symbol of God's love for an unfaithful Israel. This difficult path was not a reflection of personal failure, but a profound illustration of God's unwavering commitment and love. Hosea's life reminds us of James 1 verse 12, which says, Blessed is the man who endures temptation, for when he has been approved, he will receive the crown of life which the Lord has promised to those who love him. This verse highlights the virtue of perseverance. Enduring challenges in our faith journey is not about silently bearing pain, but also about remaining steadfast in our trust in God's plan. Even when it leads us through difficult and incomprehensible paths, persevering in faith requires us to look beyond our current struggles and focus on the greater purpose that God has for us. Hosea's unwavering commitment to God, despite the pain and humiliation he endured, serves as a powerful testament to the strength that comes from divine assurance. It's about understanding that our trials are not just obstacles, but opportunities for growth and deeper reliance on God. As we face our own challenges, let us draw inspiration from Hosea's perseverance. Let us remember that our trials are temporary, but the lessons and strength we gain from them have eternal significance. In times of hardship, let us cling to the promise of the crown of life, persevering in faith and trusting in the unfailing love and plan of God. Number 7. Walking in Faith, Not by Sight The essence of walking by faith is beautifully captured in the life of Abraham. Called to leave his homeland and go to an unknown land, Abraham's journey was marked by faith in God's promises, even when they seemed distant and unattainable. He believed in God's promise of a son despite his and Sarah's old age and was willing to sacrifice his promised son, 
Isaac, trusting in God's plan above his understanding. Abraham's life resonates with 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7, For we walk by faith, not by sight. This principle defines our Christian walk, a journey based not on visible evidence but on the assurance of God's promises. Abraham's willingness to step into the unknown, trusting in God's word, sets a powerful example for us. Walking by faith, not by sight, means trusting in God's promises even when they defy our logic or timelines. It involves letting go of our need for visible proof and relying on the certainty of God's word. Abraham's journey, filled with ups and downs, was a testament to the fact that faith is not a straight path, but a series of steps taken in trust and obedience. Therefore, as we walk our own journey of faith, let us be inspired by Abraham's example. Let us embrace the uncertainties and challenges with faith, knowing that our sight is limited but God's vision is infinite. In every step, in every decision, let us walk by faith, holding on to the promises of God, assured that His plan for us is perfect and His timing is impeccable. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, you are mighty and majestic. Your glory fills the heavens and the earth. You are the rock of ages, the great I am, the one who is, who is, and who is to come. Your wisdom is unsearchable, and your power is like no other. In your presence, every knee shall bow, and every tongue confess that you are Lord. I lift your name on high, for you are worthy of all glory, honor, and praise. I thank you, Father, for your manifold blessings in my life and in the lives of my loved ones. Thank you for your unfailing love, your boundless grace, and your merciful kindness that greets me each morning. Your faithfulness is my shield and buckler. Thank you for being my guide, my comforter, and my steadfast hope in times of uncertainty. Forgive me, Lord, for the times I have leaned on my understanding, for moments when my faith faltered and I walked by sight. I ask for your forgiveness, cleanse my heart from all unrighteousness. I also forgive those who have wronged me, releasing all resentment and hurt. For in forgiveness, there is freedom and peace. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that I am walking by faith and not by sight. I rebuke every spirit of doubt, fear, and confusion. I bind any influence that contradicts your will for my life, and I ask for wisdom, clarity, and discernment. Lord, I trust in your unfailing provision. You are my provider, and I hold on to your promise to supply all my needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Give me this day my daily bread and my daily benefits. Heavenly Father, I pray that your hand of healing reaches out to touch me and my loved ones, bringing restoration and wholeness in every area where we need your divine healing. I pray against every attack of the enemy, be it on our health, our minds, or our spirits. Protect us, Lord, from all harm and keep us under the shadow of your wings. Deliver us from all evil and lead us away from temptation. Lord, I pray for your blessings upon my life and the lives of my loved ones. As I say this prayer together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. We stand in agreement, united in our desire to follow your plan and purpose for our lives. Guide us, Lord, as we navigate through life's challenges and decisions. Help us to embrace your will, overcome our doubts, and find joy and fulfillment in your divine plan. Lord, pour out your Spirit upon us. Fill us with the courage and strength to face whatever lies ahead. May we, like Abraham, trust in your promises, even when they seem distant. Help us to persevere through trials, knowing that you are refining us for a greater purpose. May our lives be a testament to your faithfulness and love. In the name of Jesus, we declare that we walk by faith, not by sight or our emotions. We declare that everything is working for us and not against us. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Let your will be done in our lives as it is in heaven. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forevermore. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, amen. Have you ever felt the tranquility of early morning when the world is hushed? 
and the day brims with potential? This moment, so serene and pregnant with promise, resembles commencing our day with prayer. Just as the dawn's light begins to blanket the sky, dispelling darkness, initiating our day with God illuminates our path, guiding us through whatever lies ahead. Prioritizing prayer as the first action of our day isn't just about the words we utter. It's about forging a connection with our Creator. It's about offering our time, thoughts, and hearts to Him before anything else. Today, we delve into the significance of making prayer the inaugural act of our day, exploring how this simple yet profound practice can influence the course of our day, impact our mood, and shape our interactions with others. When we start our day with prayer, we declare to God, you are the most important part of my day. This act of prioritizing God sets the tone for everything that follows, affirming our faith and trust in Him. It's a practice that not only strengthens our faith, but also enriches our daily lives, infusing them with peace, joy, and purpose. Commencing each morning with conversation with God is more than just a ritual. It's a lifeline, anchoring our souls in the certainty of His love and promises. It establishes a precedent for the rest of the day, offering a perspective aligned with God's will and brimming with hope. Morning prayer isn't merely a routine. It's an act of faith, believing that God hears us, cares for us, and is actively involved in our lives. It's an expression of our dependence on Him, acknowledging that we need His wisdom and strength to navigate the day. Moreover, starting our day with God empowers us to embody the fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These qualities become more evident in our lives when we spend time with God each morning, enriching our relationships and allowing us to become vessels of His love. Morning prayer equips us with wisdom for the day's decisions, guiding us in both major choices and everyday matters. It sets a rhythm of communion with God that can continue throughout the day, transforming ordinary moments into opportunities to experience His presence and work in our lives. The practice of starting our day with God through prayer is a journey of faith, trust, and surrender. It promises not just a good day, but a God-centered life, rich in peace, purpose, and joy. Let's commit to making prayer the first action of our day, inviting God's presence into every moment and allowing His will to shape our lives. Morning prayer reminds us that true peace is found in the presence of God. Let us, therefore, cherish these early moments with God, allowing His peace to fill us and flow through us. May it be a guiding light throughout our day, a reminder of God's constant presence and unwavering love. In doing so, we not only enrich our own lives, but also extend this peace to those around us, creating ripples of God's love in a world in desperate need of His peace. Embarking on each new day with morning prayer not only immerses us in peace, but also fortifies us with a strength that is not our own. This strength, bestowed upon us by the Almighty, is a testament to the power that lies in beginning our day rooted in divine communion. It is a strength that surpasses physical capabilities, nurturing our inner resilience and empowering us to face life's challenges with courage and determination. This divine strength is a promise from God to those who seek Him, as vividly captured in Isaiah 40 verse 31. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles, they shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Morning prayer is our act of waiting on the Lord, of dedicating the first fruits of our day to Him. And in return, He renews our strength, equipping us to soar above the trials and tribulations of life. The strength we gain from starting our day in God's presence goes beyond mere endurance. It transforms our perspective on adversity. Challenges become opportunities to witness God's power at work in our lives, trials become platforms for His grace to be displayed, and weaknesses become conduits for His strength to be perfected. This strength enables us to persevere with joy, knowing that our victory is secured in Christ. Furthermore, the strength derived from morning prayer infuses our faith with vitality. It anchors us in the truth of God's word and promises, fortifying our trust in Him. In moments of doubt or fear, the remembrance of our morning encounters with God serves as a beacon of hope, reminding us of His faithfulness and the unshakable foundation upon which our lives are built. Also, the strength we receive from morning prayer prepares us for spiritual warfare. Armed with the full armor of God, we can stand against the schemes of the enemy, secure in the knowledge that the battle belongs to the Lord. 
Our morning prayers act as a declaration of our dependence on God, activating His power and protection over our lives. In essence, the strength gained from our daily communion with God is multifaceted, touching every area of our lives. It is a strength that does not boast in its own might, but in the power of the One who promises to be our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. As we continue to prioritize morning prayer, let us do so with the expectation of being filled anew with God's indomitable strength, ready to face whatever the day may hold with confidence and grace. In the scriptures, we find compelling stories of individuals whose lives were profoundly shaped by their commitment to putting prayer first. These biblical characters offer us timeless examples of how starting the day with God can lead to divine guidance, protection, and empowerment in fulfilling God's purposes. Their stories encourage us to make prayer the first action of our day, trusting that like them, we will experience God's guidance, protection, and empowerment to fulfill our divine calling. As we follow in their footsteps, let us remember that our prayers, whether in times of joy, uncertainty, or distress, are always heard by a God who is intimately involved in the details of our lives. Let us first seek God in prayer, laying the foundation of our journey in His presence. This divine attentiveness assures us of His unwavering support and guidance. It beckons us to approach Him with confidence, knowing that each prayer plants the seeds for miracles yet unseen. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, I come before you in awe of your majesty and grace. You are the creator of the heavens and the earth, the King of kings and Lord of lords. Your power is infinite, your wisdom beyond understanding, and your love for us everlasting. You are worthy of all honor, all glory, and all praise. I thank you, Lord, for the gift of life and for your mercies that are new every morning. We are thankful for this new day, a fresh opportunity to experience your love, to walk in your ways, and to reflect your light to those around us. Thank you for your faithfulness and for your unfailing love that surrounds me and my loved ones. Lord, I am grateful for your daily provisions and blessings. In your presence, there is fullness of joy, and at your right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Merciful Father, I acknowledge my sins before you and ask for your forgiveness. I also choose to forgive those who have trespassed against me, releasing any bitterness or resentment, for you have called us to live in freedom and peace. Lord, I come to you seeking to start each day in your presence, to lay the foundation of my day upon your word and prayer. Help me to seek you first, trusting that all I need will be added unto me, as you have promised. I ask that you would guide my steps, direct my paths, and fill me with your wisdom. In the name of Jesus, I declare that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I rebuke and bind every plan of the enemy to disrupt my peace, steal my joy, or derail my purpose. In the name of Jesus, I bind every spirit of confusion, fear, worry, anxiety, and discouragement. Father, I ask for your protection over me and my loved ones. Shield us from the attacks of the enemy and surround us with your angels. I ask for your healing hand upon us, believing for restoration and strength in our bodies. Lord, bless us in our coming and going, and let your blessings and favor rest upon us as we walk through this day. Let us be vessels of your love and grace to others. As I say this prayer together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. We come in agreement as we pray for each other, asking for your Holy Spirit to fill us afresh, to empower us to live lives that glorify you. Guide us, Lord, in your wisdom. Protect us in your strength. Heal us in your mercy and bless us with your abundance. We claim victory over every challenge, declare healing over every illness, and give thanks for your provision and protection. Let your kingdom come and let your will be done on earth and in our lives as it is in heaven. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forevermore. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Now, for those who are listening and you want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I urge you to receive God's grace with an open and repentant heart. Start where you are. Your past doesn't matter. Jesus came to seek and to save those who are lost. God loves you. It is not God's will that anyone should perish, but for all to come to repentance. Say this simple salvation prayer for yourself. 
Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner, and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. Lord Jesus, hear my prayer. I pray, thank you, Lord, for saving me. Amen. Now that you have prayed this prayer, you can ask a pastor to baptize you at a local church and make that decision public. Baptism is a symbol of that decision to follow Jesus. Then, I encourage you to have fellowship with other believers, to learn more about your new life, and to get to know more about God. Please feel free to leave your prayer request in the comment section so that we can present them before God for your blessings and victory. Also, we invite other believers on the YouTube platform and all over the world to join us and start praying for you right now. And we want you to know that even if you don't see a reply to your prayer request, it doesn't mean that you were not prayed for. Rest assured that we are actively lifting up each request to God that is in accordance with His will. We believe in the power of prayer to bring comfort, healing, and guidance in accordance with God's perfect plan. To God be all the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.